What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, back for another episode commentary. Clicky. Okay, sorry, I had to get the audacity recorder off my screen so I could actually watch the episode. <clears throat> another episode commentary of Fictional Fights. And my headphones are on the wrong side. Give me just a quick moment to switch them around. Ugh. I, got the, I could tell because of the sound. My ears are really weird. I can actually tell, like, left and right hearing, like, which earbuds my left and my right just for listening to it. I don't know if everyone can do that, but for some reason I can, even though I think it's weird. Uh. Alright, now on to the actual episode. Rayman vs. Spyro. I had a lot of fun with this episode, even though we didn't have an animation. I don't know, I just had fun editing this episode, finding footage, researching, because I I really love both these characters. Unlike the last episode where I really like Jin, but not care much for Ryu, I really like both Rayman and Spyro. Uh, which one I like more, I honestly can't decide, because they were both huge parts of my childhood, so I can't, I can't really choose. And I'm kind of stuttering because the volume's up too loud still. <clears throat> so, a lot of people were wondering, like, why did I not choose, like, Crash versus Spyro? Because that's usually the fight people think of when they think of PlayStation mascots fighting. Oh yeah, this is this is another cringeworthy part. For some reason in the scripts, I had like dragons. He stole the eggs of the dragons and dragonflies. Once upon a time, there were dragons and dragonflies. It's a story about dragons and dragonflies. A dragonfly, dragon and dragon. I used the word dragon and dragonfly like way too much in the area where I went over Spyro's story. Like when I was editing that, when I was editing that, I kept thinking I was using the same voice clip over and over. Because of how many times they said dragon and dragonfly. It was very, very annoying. So I guess that's the cringeworthy part of this episode. But this is also the first episode where I narrated the fights. And I have another plan for what I'm going to do for the fights like later on. I think I'm going to start it like after Elsa vs. Katara. Because I don't think I can do what I'm planning for Elsa and Katara. But I can definitely do it for the one after. But... It's, like, I'm thinking of maybe, like, drawing, like, the comics, or, like, drawing, like, comics or something, or, like, an animatic, like, on paper, and then scanning it onto my computer, like, doing that. I figured that would be pretty cool to do until I can find an animator. I don't think I'd be able to do it for Elsa and Katara because they are both, like, very detailed characters, and I don't know, it would take a bit too long to do them, but the fight after them, definitely. Stitch versus Toothless. It's coming out in less than three weeks, like, it's coming out in two, two weeks and five days. That's not enough time to animate, but I'm, I've already started on the one after Katara vs. Elsa, and I'm really excited for it. You guys might be, might not, depending on who you are and what you like. And I also have these cookies here. I grabbed them before I started recording. And now it's really annoying because I just keep staring at them. I really want to eat them, but I can't because I'm talking and I'm pretty sure you don't want to hear me chewing. This isn't really an episode commentary. This is me talking about my day or what I'm doing while the episode is just playing in the background. It's just there's not really much to talk about. It's, it's weird. Like the easy episodes to make, there's not much to talk about because I'm like, I just researched, I recorded, edited it. That's it. There's nothing extra extraordinary. Extraordinary. Not extra extraordinary. That's redundant. Something extraordinary. There's nothing extraordinary about this. I cannot talk. These commentaries will get better, I promise. Oh, and if you're wondering why I'm gonna go why I'm going ahead and doing the commentary for this episode, I'm getting all the episodes that I've already done out of the way first, you know, just getting caught up. And then once we're all caught up. I'll do a commentary like either one, two, or a couple days after an episode goes up. So once you catch up, um, and then Stitch vs. Toothless comes out either the day after or a couple days after or whatever, then I'll have the Stitch vs. Toothless commentary. So right now I'm just trying to catch up. That's why you're already getting the Spar vs. Rayman commentary. <clears throat> Rayman. Now Rayman, my dude. Rayman is actually... So much stronger than I thought. Like first of, like, first I recorded this. I did this episode, and I'm like, yeah, Rayman could destroy 
countries, but then I remembered, like, the final boss of one of the Rayman games, he was, like, basically elemental controlled. It's hard to describe him. He has weird, very weird powers, but I guess it could kind of be considered, like, something. I don't want to put an estimation on it, because someone will be like, dude, that's way off. But... He, he used like elemental powers like in a way, like in such a bizarre way, it's like galact- like a galaxy level maybe? And Rayman beat him, but I don't think Rayman's galaxy level. I mean he turns into a bubble when he pokes some spikes. I mean he's Rayman, he's still a man. It's just very- but Rayman's a complicated character, like ability wise. Whereas Spyro, he's just a dragon with different kinds of breath. Oh yeah, the Rayman Oranges. <laughs> Rayman Oranges. I was I was too proud of our host for that blooper. Rayman Orange. That's that's like the highlight of fictional fight. Like, out of all the episodes, out of every single thing, every joke, every animation, every me narrating the fights, every single bit of fictional fights, that is the highlight. Rayman Oranges. Rayman's Oranges. Rayman organs. Rayman donates organs. <laughs> How does Rayman go to the bathroom? That's what I always thought, because he has floating limbs. And since he doesn't have legs, I was wondering if his dingling, dingling floated too. <laughs> ah, the constellation feet. The teensy actually zoom to the third constellation, so Rayman most likely punched him way harder. Ugh. Oh yeah, here comes... Here comes... Here comes... Here comes another cringeworthy part. For some reason I thought putting a random explosion in here would be funny, like... Imagine what he could do to the planet with this kind of power. Ooh, random explosion. Why did I think that would be funny? That was not funny. That was cringeworthy. Ooh, the series will get better. There are just some very, very cringeworthy moments. Okay, so... Alright, so tell me in the comments below. Like, if I run out of things to say, do you want me to just, like, cut it there? And, and then... Or do you want me to like show the actual whole episode? Because I can't think of anything more to say, so I could just cut the episode commentary right here because I've said all I need to say about the episode. Because all that's left is me talking about the fight and then the results. That's all that's left to say about this episode, so... I guess I'll cut it here, and then you tell me in the comments if you want me to do the full thing, or want me to stop here. Alright? Ready? Ready. Um, not ready. What? Bye. Mmm.